Welcome back to KMOT First News at 10. The championship rounds in our area girls region tournaments are starting to take shape. Tonight, the top seeded South Prairie Max look to continue their march against an upset minded rugby Panthers team in region three. We pick it up in the third at the um, MSU Dome. Rugby looking to make a run. Ball gets in the hands of Madison Corum, who drains the three for the Panthers. Uh, moments later, the Royals with it. Bree Rose has been so good for South Prairie Max in this tournament. So far, she works the paint for two. Rugby back with it now. Lacey DePlazis is driving and dishes it out to Brooklyn Corum. I'm sensing a trend here. She's going to hit the three for the Panthers. Now, back other side of the court, here's Riley Rutledge for the Royals. A little jab step and a step back, and it's raining threes at the MSU Dome tonight. This one would stay close, but it's the top-seeded Royals who move on to the title. Rugby plays for third place. In the other Region 3 game, Botno taking on the Braves of Turtle Mountain. Here's the dish to Kira Beckman. We'd see a lot of her in this game. Moments later, the Stars in transition. It's going to get in the hands of Aaron Garelia, who goes for the pull-up jumper and hits it. Love the court vision here. Titles are won with defense. The Stars put in place a half-court press. Braves just couldn't figure it out. Here they force the 10-second call and get the ball back. Now, the Braves are not going to go quietly in this one, though. Achilles Azure played a big role in their upset of Ned Rose last night. She goes up hard and draws the foul here. The Botno was just too much, that with too much height and athleticism in this one. Beckman, again, working the paint and gets this layup to fall. The Stars, as I said, too much for the Braves. They roll on to the title round. Belcourt not done just yet. They'll play for third. All right, here, let's take a look at where we stand in the Region 3 bracket. South Prairie Max facing off with Botno for all the marbles. And as I said, Rugby will face Turtle Mountain in the third place game. All right, let's move over to uh, Region 4 at the Minot Auditorium. Kenmare Bobels in the top seed tonight. They were looking to move on to the title. Let's head out to the Auditorium. We picked this one up in the third. The Honkers up big, but the Bombers' Casey Simon says, hang on, she's going to hit the three here to try to keep it close. Moments later, good ball movement from Kenmare. It gets in the hands of McKenna Mao, sharpshooter for the Honkers, hitting the three to build on their lead. Kenmare back with it. The dish to Taya Offworth in the paint. They got good height here. Misses the first shot, gets her own rebound and converts. Here's Berthold's Aubrey Chef working the paint. You can see these teams fighting for every single bucket, every single point. She gets the two to fall, but the Honkers would get the final say in this one tonight. They're going to move on to the title. Berthold advances to the third place game. I had my eye on this TGU, our Redeemers game tonight. A couple of scrappy teams out of District 8. They wouldn't disappoint. Second half, Caden Braun driving the baseline, goes up hard. It's blocked, but she draws the foul, goes to the line for two. Then on the other end, Ashley Martyrdom gets it by the bucket and works the paint for two for the Titans. Moments later, Martyrdom again. She's been so good for the Titans in this postseason run. This time she gets it in the corner for the three. Titans with it again. This time Boston Bailey getting in on the fun. Gets the friendly bounce here on the shot to fall. The Titans were kind of building on a lead here in the third quarter. Knights with it though now. Errant shot goes, but TGU on ORCS are going to dive for the ball. Look at the hustle from the Knights' Maya Vibeto. She forces the jump ball here. The Our Redeemers Knights storm back in the fourth quarter on this game and knock off TGU to advance to the Region 4 title game. The Titans still get a chance at state, but now they're going to have to win the third place game first. So now let's take a look at this bracket for Division, uh, for Division B Region 4. You see our Redeemers, they make the comeback. They're going to face a tough Kenmare Bowbells team on Thursday night. And meanwhile, we got Lewis and Clark, the Bombers, facing off with the Titans of TGU in the third place game. Remember, the formats are different this year. The winners of the third place games also move to that region qualifier over the weekend. All right, while Division B girls duked it out, uh, Division A as well, a couple double A rivalry uh, games were renewed at a third court in the Magic City tonight as Minot High Boys and Girls hosted Bismarck Legacy. We're going to pick up the boys' action at the beginning of the second half here. Minot's going to dish it to the big man, Logan Conklin, in the paint. He, come on, you can't leave the big man open like that. Moments later, Minot's back with the ball. The ball gets in the hands of the sharpshooter, Peyton Shell, in the corner, who's going to drain the three for Minot. He's working faster than my camera can. Sabres with it now. Lucas Kupfer is working the paint on their end. He's going to get this one to fall. And then moments later, Legacy back with the ball. They got some good movement here a little later on in the game. Eventually, the ball is going to get in the hands of Parker Falcon, 
who's doing his best Caitlin Clark impression here drains this one way from behind the arc. Ah, but it's the home team magicians who would get the win by 14. Now we pick up the girls game late in the action. Lily Bell with it. Not in the paint, this time on the arc. She can hit the long range shots too. She hits the three here. Way to go, Lily. Moments later, Maggie Fricky gets the rebound. She's going to take this one coast to coast and get the kiss off of the glass. Moments later now, it's the uh, Sabres with it. They're going to work the paint here, and they're going to get the kiss off the glass for two. But on senior night, look who gets the ball here. It's Avery Lundy for Minot. The ball is eventually going to, she's going to work her way into the paint and get her own kiss off the glass. Congratulations to her. Majettes win by 19. Lily Bell with 34 points. Minot High boys and girls are now looking to get ready to the postseason. And I'm out of breath. That's all we have in sports.